Unearthed Films, Unearths, a horror anthology from Mexico entitled Mexico Barbaro 2. I never saw the first Mexico Barbaro, but now I'm really interested. This was from 2017. This is 2023 Blu-ray, uh, DVD Blu-ray release and probably streaming as well. And it is nine Mexican directors telling eight stories that are disconnected. There's no framing story or anything from this in this horror anthology. So what I'm going to do is basically run through these uh, eight stories and let you know uh, what they are and then give you my thoughts on the end. I got, I got my notes so I can get the titles right. So first up was Juan the Soldier, directed by Abraham Sanchez. And this was uh, set in Tijuana of 1938. And basically a couple of soldiers uh, have this guy they accuse of uh, doing something bad and they uh, they they take him out and they, they do away with him and he finds a way to come back from the dead and get his bloody revenge apparently based on an actual Mexican folktale or a Mexican historical incident and they shot where there is this shrine to this guy so it was kind of interesting where they were saying they had to sort of get permission to uh, to shoot there and not want to offend anybody because it really happened or, or is believed to really have happened uh, the second is called Paidos Phobos by Diego Cohen and this is a film basically about a ghost child it's done with sort of a choppy editing and a non-linear style in it. It didn't totally make sense to me. Uh, the thing about this, and I'll say too, is I always say with any kind of anthology, horror anthology film, if you are not interested or don't like the current story you're watching, just wait a few minutes because another one's coming along. Usually it's like four or five stories in a 90 minute film. So those stories tend to be between 15, 20 minutes a piece. These are, this is a 90 something minute film and it's eight stories. So each of these stories is only like maybe not even 10 minutes. So they, they move, they move right along. The uh, third story is called Pazzonali, Pazzonali, yes, from uh, Fernando Erdapelleta. And it is a, this is a really gross. <laughs> This is a gruesome, this feels like a, kind of like a Tales from the Crypt episode, but really dark and really gross. Basically, a family prepares, is preparing a meal for their the monstrous uh, head of the household, the monstrous father who has done horrible things to all of them. And it is, uh, it just goes in a really dark and very, very gross place, or places. It almost looks like it is one of those that is 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 eager to be as, as uh, upsetting and as offensive as possible. Uh, story number four is called Fireballs, directed by Christian Cueva and Ricardo Farias. And it's basically these two guys are looking to shoot an adult film and they hire two women to be the talent or the other talent in the adult film. And those two, the, those women are, are more than what they seem, shall we say. And it goes to weird, dark and gross places and with a really strange visual style. It sort of emulates pop ups. On, on porn sites and things like that. Um, it, it, comedically dark, comedically gross. The fifth one is called Vitriol from Michelle Garza, and that's about a model getting revenge on someone who wronged her. And that, uh, I, to say that these are dark, they're all very dark. Very well shot, but it, it gets kind of gruesome. The uh, sixth story is called Do Not Sleep from Sergio Tello, or Teo. It is a young boy has a hard time sleeping due to all of these, like, folk tales or old wives tales or whatever that his his grandmother used to tell him you know if you don't do this this will happen and make sure you don't do that and you got to do this before you go to sleep so he just basically can't sleep because of all these rules and uh that gets goes again into you guessed it a dark place we have uh, number seven it's called it's about time and that's by carlos melendez that's a teenage girl using black magic to get back at the mean girls who were mean to her in very 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 gruesome ways it, uh, it's very goopy and gory and gross. Again, a lot of these feel like they could have been Tales from the Crypt episodes. And the final story is called Exodonita, Exodonita from, by Lex Ortega. And this is about a woman who just basically uses a lot of drugs and sees demonic and gross things, self-mutilates, and it's just it's it's wildly unpleasant to watch uh and that's and that's that so um i didn't love this i thought it was interesting i'm i'm always up for a horror anthology they were certainly all very well made i've seen some that are super cheap and super bad this isn't that the performances are good the effects are good everything in it is is well done i i didn't love all the stories and uh the upside of it though was that they're all really they're not they're not long so as soon as one is over if you're not liking it you're like until the last one i thought that there was i it's advertised as nine directors so i thought it was nine stories but one of them had two directors so when the last one was coming up that i really wasn't enjoying I'm like okay well there'll be one more and then the credits came up and i'm watching the credits and i'm like okay maybe they're gonna sneak it in after the credits but it's eight stories so the extras won the soldier featurette nine minute behind the scenes fireballs featurette eight minutes vitriol behind the scenes and then followed by a gallery that's nine minutes do not sleep featurette is three minutes Exodonica, 
sorry, featurette is uh, three minutes and there's a two minute still gallery and a two minute trailer. So very interesting to see uh, foreign uh, horror always to me and see what other cultures, uh, what that brings from their own culture to the horror world. A lot of this is pretty universal. A lot of this could have been said anywhere, but uh, it, was, it was interesting. I didn't love it, but it was interesting. So available on Blu-ray from Unearthed Films is, but what is it called? Mexico, I got it right here. Mexico Barbaro 2.